Guys, it's Alan with Center Consoles Only, and we just stumbled across the latest 45 Streamline, which is out of this world. We're gonna actually sneak on it and give you a peek. As you can see, we saw this thing being built at the factory, and they went all orange from the cap to the deck to the liner with a dark gray hull side. Came out absolutely insane. When we first saw it, we were skeptical of what it would actually look like, but they killed this thing. Come check it out. Mo, you mind if we jump on? Yes, sir, jump on, man. This guy's a good man. As you can see, this one is equipped with Quint Mercury Racing 400Rs, which propels this thing well into the 70 mile an hour range. This beast is 45 feet long, 13 feet wide, and holds 600 gallons of fuel, so it's a serious, serious center console. One thing you can see is they went with an option, rear bench seat. Obviously, you can see this boat is made for sandbar, family cruising with friends, that sort of thing, so they really decked it out and made an art piece with this one in particular. So, that seating is there. You can fish this thing if you want as well. You got live wells, port and starboard. You can see that nice blue-green combination they went in there. Really keeps those baits happy. What you're gonna notice is JL Audio speakers everywhere. There's 30 plus speakers in this boat from what we understand. And this decking material is it's super nice. Looks like a rustic wood grain finish. So. You have a side door right there, which we're not gonna open because it's over towards the dock, but they do have a ton of storage here. We'll crack one of these open, just so you can take a look. So you can see great size. They went with orange with the fenders in good form, makes a lot of sense. And as you can see, this whole deck and liner and cap is orange, which at first when we saw it, we were like, man, where are they going with this? But once they've put all this together it almost looked like a designer started this idea and had it in their mind from scratch they really did a great job how they mixed the dark gray with the leaning post you got your console in that dark gray and the hull color all matches together with the black accents with the uh, aluminum piping the enclosure in the console and then you got carbon fiber finishes everywhere you have a summer kitchen here with a sink it looks like storage area Oh, well, there's the sink. All right, so this is basically a wet bar. And this is actually another live well, looks like here. Or maybe a cooler space. As you can see, this one here is ready to party. You have all your drinks here at all times. So just a hit of a button, you got your whiskey, vodka, scotch, whatever works for you guys. Cup holders throughout these, which are the combination rod holders as well. So again, you can fish this boat without a problem. They have a Garmin screen back here, and this is an oversized hard top. You can see the JL Audio tubes up there, which propel that sound when you're at the sandbar. These down here tend to stay within the boat. So a good thing about having those up there is that they shoot that sound out to you over where your party's at. So we'll crack some of these open as well. We got a refrigerator. Storage throughout. And actually come over here and you have, you have yourself a little garbage can. So they've thought of it all. Now when I talk about storage, you can see they have hatches going basically all the way up to the bow. So they have a smaller one here, right? Excellent access to the helm. One port and starboard in your console area. They got a big box up in the bow. We'll make it over there. Before we do that, check out the dual row seating and this oversized hard top, as I mentioned, panoramic sunroof. You can open that up, Mo. Oh, he's gonna go ahead and do it for us. So there's no more comfortable seats in the house than these right here and that one back at the transom area. So you can be doing 60 miles an hour cruising to the Bahamas, hanging out right here in complete comfort. Mo, don't worry about it if you don't wanna open it, but you can see they put JL Audio speakers here as well. So when you're in here, the sound is crisp and clean. 24 inch Garmin MFDs right up here in the console. You got your vessel view down the center. There you go, he found the button. <laughs> so you can open that sucker if you want to get into the element here a little bit or close it up if you don't want the sun to beat down on you again they have carbon fiber finishes throughout they have air conditioning vents right here and you got yourself your mercury joystick as well fusion head unit to complement the jail audio sound system and again they went with that decking material even up top on the cap so it's all matched perfectly and you got great grip if you're walking up and down these areas so let me pop into the console 
You can see they went with wood grain finishes throughout. You have a private head. Check that out. So you got tons of space. Really nice finishes. Looks like a yacht in here. Tons of room for a center console. You got your galley, kitchenette. You got a full size berth underneath. You got here what looks to be a 32 inch flat screen. JL Audio speakers down here as well. And you got access to your rigging, electronics, and some storage here also. So we'll go ahead and continue up. Close this up. You got a full enclosure in your console as well, so it keeps you protected. Come up here, you have some, I guess, sunlights. I'm not sure what you call those for the cabin area. So it brings in some of that natural light, makes it refreshing in there. And you can actually pop these open if you want some of that breeze to cut in. You see, we have a massive lounger up here. You can easily fit three or four people, I'm sure, with a cooler. Comfortably placed here for your area up towards the bow area. So you can have a group towards the transom cockpit area you can have another group right here and you're not gonna have to walk back and forth to grab your stuff so again you have another uh, box up here you have an anchor life jackets storage area uh, you got another small one right here and you got access underneath here for uh for additional storage more jail audio speakers they're everywhere you got your cup holders underneath so they make use of pretty much every bit of available space this as well can hold your fenders your flip-flops and it'll keep them there as you're running so small details but important ones and then you go up to your bow and everything that you see here even up to the to the cleats are all color matched black this is a European model, not cheap, but definitely sleek looking. And they went above and beyond from those little details to the carbon fiber finishes. You can see this black uh, grab rail. This is a beautiful boat all the way around. So we're gonna get the drone up in the air, show you the exterior. It's blowing 25, 30 knots today. Luckily we have our mics on. So we'll see how far we'll be able to get out there. We hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough and reach out to Streamline Boats if you have any questions about their 45. That's the man right there, Mo himself. So that concludes our sea trial on not one, but two streamlines. We have the black and white 45 that just dropped us off, but the show today was the gray one with that orange cap and liner. I mean, they killed it with that thing. It's got Quint 400 Rs, does 70 plus. They still haven't even fine tuned it, but absolutely beautiful cruising center console and excellent job by Streamline Boats.